Do you ever work on a project and you're like, man, I wish this could be so much better. Well, guess what? In this video, I'm gonna teach you some high-tech element techniques right here for After Effects. This is a multi-use tutorial where we're gonna be talking about how to put together high-tech elements, but we're also gonna talk about how to do a count-up expression where you can have your graphics animate with a number going up from zero to 100 or even the other direction. Hey, what's going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having a lovely day today. There's a lot of creative uses for high-tech elements you can incorporate this with pretty much any project if you just want to bring a little abstract detail you can add like a loading screen you can animate these to the entire video so you know it starts from the beginning of the video and then it animates all the way to the end so people know the time code of the video they're watching so a lot of cool unique uses and tutorials but without any more rambling we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna create something really cool all right, so we have this broken down into two easy parts. Obviously, we have the title that counts up from zero to 100%, which is an expression, and then we have the high-tech graphics. First, here in our tutorial composition, we're gonna do the count up. We already have a title in here with a percent symbol. That's up to you if you wanna have that. So if you wanna bring a number in here, all you have to do is go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a slider control to your title layer. Then you open up your title layer, and you come here to Source Text, and you all click the stopwatch. And then you grab the pick whip and parent it to the slider control and then type out dot value dot two fixed open parenthesis zero close parenthesis just like that just as you see it and then to add any symbol you want hit space add a plus add quotations and then put that symbol which is the percent symbol between the quotations boom just like that so now you have the expression ability to count up so how we do this come here to the slider control and we add a keyframe for slider we move forward in our timeline and we'll set this up to 100 boom so we run through this now you have a count up and if we want we can take these keyframes go to the graph editor and do you know any sort of animation that we want here i'll go ahead and just close these up and now we have a really controlled animation that's going to work for the rest of our graphics to animate with our number all right so now that we have the number set up here we can start developing the high-tech elements here it might seem like quite a bit of work but actually it's really not that much because it's just a matter of copy and pasting you set it up once and then boom you're off to the races so let me show you how easy this is so first thing we want to do is come here to the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool okay and click on the word fill set it to none click ok click on the word stroke make sure that's set to solid color and of course click ok you can change the color to whatever color you want i'll just do white for now and stroke width keep it at two if you want so what we'll do is come here from the center and draw out a circle like this. Come here to the line tab. And of course, make sure you control double click the pan behind tool to make sure the anchor point is in the center of everything. That's very important for you to do. So when your line is centered up, whether you have a number or not, what we'll do is open up our ellipse one and we'll come here to stroke one. And what we're gonna do is hit the plus button for dashes. And we'll click the plus button one more time and you'll get gap. All right, awesome. And what we do is increase the dash here and this will make the lines a little bit longer and you can increase the gap or decrease it depending on what you wanna do. It gives you a little bit more extra control and that's totally fine. And now what we're gonna do here is we'll close up this one, come here to add and we'll add a trim paths. Okay, awesome. And we'll come here to the end, we can bring this down so we won't have you know, it going around a full circle, be cut off, you know, that's fine. And then all we're gonna do is hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll all click the stopwatch and we'll type in time asterisk 100. And now we're gonna have an element in here that's gonna rotate around the center perfectly. So now this is an opportunity for us to go to edit, duplicate. So we'll have the element duplicated twice. You can hit S on keyboard for scale and we can scale this up by a touch. And what we'll do is go to layer here at the top, come here to transform and we do like a flip horizontal or vertical. Depends on what you wanna do and boom, now we're gonna have you know a different style of this and that's totally fine. And we duplicate it again. And we'll come here to the second scale here and we'll scale this up of course and this time we'll hit r on keyboard for rotation and this time we'll come here and delete the time expression and type in wiggle open parenthesis maybe one comma you know 100 or 200 depending on what you want to do and this will go ahead and just wiggle in there instead of going in complete circle i like it and i went ahead and duplicated this one more time so as you can see you can scale up on this but let's go ahead and create an element that's going to react to the expression that we have here. So we'll duplicate it. For this element, we'll go ahead and change the color here at the top to fit our title. So it'll stand out. And we come here and increase the stroke width as well. It makes it a little bit bigger and we'll scale this into place. All right, so have this react to our you know number expanding from zero to 100, it's really easy. All we're gonna do is go into our contents and go to the trim paths. And we'll come in here to the end percent and we'll all click the stopwatch, okay? What we're gonna do is just click on our title layer and grab that pick whip and parent it to the slider boom so now what's going to happen is our line is going to animate to 100 percent there 
with our number. And that's how you can create like a loading screen with your graphics. And that's really cool. And before we move further into our tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our motion graphic extension right here for After Effects. All right, so this is our motion graphics starter pack extension with 650 templates. We have motion graphics in here, animated background templates, social media animations, shape transitions, and of course, titles. And how this works is we can come through here, preview anything that we want to apply before we apply it. And when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply. And it automatically applies a full template into your current After Effects project. And we go into this template, and for example, change out our titles really quick. And we have our control layer here, which allows us to make changes to adjust the titles and colors to everything to fit perfectly, however we see fit. And if we want, we can easily change the colors of everything. And it automatically updates in our main composition. And we can take this even further with our accent motion graphics. We have over 160 of these in this pack. And we come here to clusters, for example, and we'll apply a cluster. So now with a few clicks of a button, we now have a full title animation here, along with some accent graphics that help spruce up our composition and whatever we're working on. So a lot of options just in this one pack. And we have a handful of other packs that allow you to switch over to them very easily. So you can pick up more titles, animated backgrounds. Um, and more off our website. So if you're looking to produce awesome work and save a tremendous amount of time while producing great After Effects projects, you can take a look at any of our packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so we have the gist of creating one element in here, but I want to talk about adding, you know, some other elements that are very similar, but maybe just a little bit different. So we have some circles that we can create and also some different style lines. So to create some different style lines, you know, we could just take the work that we've already have done. We'll take the last element that was tied to the expression. We'll duplicate it and we'll scale it up and we'll change the styling of it. And it's really easy to change the styling. We'll come here to our contents, come here to the ellipse one, go to the stroke one, go open up the dashes and remember how we did the gap and the dash. Well, it's just a matter of readjusting these, right? And dash and make sure your line cap is set to a butt cap and boom, now we have a different element in here. We can come here and change the color of our graphic, you know, to maybe a different color to create some contrast. And we will glow this out in a second. So it looks a little bit better than what we have, but boom, just like by adjusting those two parameters there, we're going to get a different look on our graphics that we've already created. And of course we can take this and duplicate it, scale it up. Look at that. Perfect. And of course, always experiment with this stroke width as well. You get completely different looks with this. And to create the circle is very easy to do. So all we do is come here to the lips tool. And once again, we'll come here to the fill and we'll turn that back on. And of course, we'll turn off the stroke. No problem whatsoever. And we'll draw a perfect circle by holding down a shift. And make sure your anchor point is in the center of your composition for this to work. So now that we have the circle here, we'll just hit R on our keyboard. And we'll just all click the stopwatch and type in wiggle open parenthesis, we'll do 0.5 comma 300, for example. Then all we do is take this layer, duplicate it. You can adjust the rotation of it, duplicate it, and you, you, know, you can add different variations in here. So automatically, beautiful. So now, boom, with all of our elements put together, we have all these cool graphics in here that go around in this nice circle high-tech element. So that's really cool. All right, so we have the layout of our high-tech element here, but let's really take this next level within just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and load this out. So what we'll do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then we'll go to Effect, Stylize, and we'll grab Glow. And all we're gonna do is duplicate the Glow effect and increase the Glow Radius up to like 160. And now with all of our elements put together with the Glow effect, you know, it just adds a nice little touch to everything, and you get really unique results in different styles from just playing with the settings. So really easy to put together a high-tech element for your videos. So that's our tutorial on creating these high-tech elements right here for After Effects. Hopefully you found it helpful, but if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.